There's shock tonight over the sudden death of Luke Perry. The actor first shot to fame as a teen idol in the 1990s, making 90210 the most famous zip code in America. Jill McEshawn has more on the life and death of Luke Perry. To a generation of fans, he is best remembered as Dylan McKay. I can't tell you what else I'm thinking because your parents are in the room. And his co-stars from Beverly Hills 90210 were among the first to offer condolences today. Ian Ziering, Gabrielle Carteris, and Jenny Garth, who said in a statement, My heart is broken. Luke Perry suffered a massive stroke in his L.A. home last Wednesday and died today surrounded by loved ones, including his two children. Strokes are more typical in elderly patients, where hardening of the arteries is a major risk factor. But it can happen in young individuals as well, and even in a children's hospital we know. Every now and then, you know, patients will present with stroke. Perry was making his mark on a new generation in the series Riverdale, a dark take on the Archie comics where Perry played the role of dad, Fred Andrews. In Langley, B.C., where the series is filmed, production was suspended Monday. The cast and crew reportedly devastated by the death of a castmate many looked up to as a father figure. Luke Perry had just finished shooting one of the year's most hotly anticipated films, Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which also stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. To break the, the mold of playing Dylan McKay, I think, just took time. Uh, he had to age out of his heartthrob good looks and put some space between him and his most famous character. But he worked constantly in films, uh, including right up until just weeks before he died. On the day he suffered the stroke, a 90210 reboot was announced. Perry had not signed on, citing other commitments. Luke Perry was just 52 years old. Jill McEshawn, CTV News, Winnipeg.